Hello everyone and welcome back to Jackie to Educational Channel. So in this video we are going to solve the questions from JK Set 2022 paper which is going to be very very helpful in the UGC NET Environmental Science exam. Yes, this will be both helpful for JK Set any other Environmental Science set as well as the UGC NET examination. So get ready with your note to note down all these questions answer. It will be a rapid revision. So without wasting much time, let's get started. So guys we have already completed all the 70 questions in this series you can check the link in the i button so this is the part in which we will deal with the final 30 questions that will comprise from question 1 to question 30 of this C set of JK set so first question on your screen the mohorovicki discontinuity demarcates what from what so this is very very simple question you all must be knowing if you don't know you should know it is actually the discontinuity between the crust from the mantle option c will be correct that means the lower region of the crust and the upper region of the mantle their division is called as mohorovicki discontinuity one of the very very frequent last questions discontinuity of the earth crust mantle core all these are very important kindly go through them Next coming to the question 2 half life period this question is half life is a term used for what so I'll wait for certain seconds then I will reveal the answer so here no need to wait more because here all of you will be knowing till now option will be option C half life means the time taken for one half quantity of a radioactive element to decay to a stable end product So this is from the decay of the radioactive element and this radioactivity numerical is one of the very very important numerical which comes in the environmental science entrances you must know how to solve them i have given the link in the i button click on that try to know what is the concept and very very simple formula to solve this question coming to the next question question number 3 left hand side what is the cause of ponding on a trickling filter So here ponding for some of you it will be the new term i will let you know what is ponding i will tell ponding means when the voids or spaces in between the water treatment systems are plugged or clogged this is called as ponding so in the trickling filter when they are blocked it is called as the ponding so it is asking what is the cause of ponding on a trickling filter and here we have given the options increase in slime growth on media plugging the filter increase in chlorination dose to the filter increase in filter ventilation decrease in growth of pathogen so among the four only one will be the correct option because it plugs the filter which plugs when the slime they grow on the media plugging the filter it causes the blockage or ponding of the trickling filter trickling filter once again it is used for wastewater treatment increase in chlorination doesn't affect the clogging or the plugging of the trickling filter increase in filter ventilation it will help it will help to function well it is not ponding the trickling filter and decrease in growth of pathogenic organism is also not the cause so here only one will be the correct option that is option c which is the reason for ponding on a trickling filter so guys before going ahead let me remind about the four mock test series for the UGC NET environmental science 2022 examination which will consist of 400 questions and give you a solid revision for the examination you just need to follow two steps first you have to pay a nominal amount of rupees 99 through google pay or phone pay to this number 88950035690 then send me the screenshot of this payment and i will provide you the links which you can attempt at your any convenient time number 4 right hand sides this term will be definitely new for maximum students which are watching the video so this is stalactites or stalactites actually i should pronounce it well and stalagmites are features of what this is coming from the environmental geology you should only know what are the features which are stalactites and stalagmites so here the correct option will be what correct option will be option number c ground water deposition in caves formed by precipitation from dipping water rich in dissolved calcium carbonate you can see in this picture inside the caves when these are from the calcium carbonate deposit dipping water from the precipitation inside the caves so this is ground water deposition as you can see in this picture stalactites and stalagmites Let's move to the next question. Question number five: Base level of river erosion means what? Base level of river erosion. 
so here it means the lowest level up to which a stream can theoretically cut down its channel so this you should know just know it it is the lowest level up to which a stream can theoretically cut down its channel so stream will be having different channels it is the lowest level that is base level of the river erosion let's move to the next question question number six the transitional zone between two or more distinct community is called as what so here this is also very simple question chocolate question it is called as ecotone region for example there is a biome which is what this is a salt water and here there is one other biome that is what it is a land area so in between that we have seen there are mangroves growing yes mangroves are the ecotone region or ecotone ecosystem in between the salt water and the land region so this region will be called as ecotone zone between the salt water and the land region that is the ecotone region is the zone transitional zone between two or more distinct communities i hope you are able to understand let's move to the next question next question number 7 eutrophication of water bodies is characterized by an oversupply of nutrients especially which nutrients eutrophication addition or oversupply of nutrients mostly phosphates and nitrates so this is also one of the frequent asked question your concept should be clear let's move on to the next question question number 8 assertion and reasoning kind of question assertion statement states heat transfer is performed through exchange of temperature and reason states what reason states conduction convection and radiation are the three modes of transfer of heat so you have to select which option will be correct i'll wait for certain seconds so here the correct option will be option number b both the statements are correct but the reason is not giving the correct explanation of the assertion statement coming to the question number 9 question 9 left hand side the place meant for the conservation of biodiversity in the natural habitat are what so here four options are given zoological garden botanical garden wildlife sanctuary and national parks so you have to select so you might have guessed that it is asking about the in situ conservation type that mean place meant for conservation in the natural habitat in situ conservation is what it is only wildlife sanctuary and national park among these option but botanical garden and zoological garden are ex situ kind of conservation of biodiversity that is not in the natural habitat so 3 and 4 will be correct that means option c will be correct let's move to question number 10 question 10 which one of the following is an indicator of vehicular pollution this also all of you will be knowing lichens that is the symbiotic relationship between fungi and algae so that is lichens are the indicator of what not only sulfur dioxide but also nitrogen so some of you will be knowing for the first time nitrogen also indicator is lichens lichens group of species coming to the question 11 question 11 is match the following causing agent with the effect so first thing what we will know acid rain if it is giving it is what it will be definitely oxides of nitrogen or oxides of sulfur so sulfur dioxide it will match with one so d with one we will see in the option and only one option no need to waste time but we should know what are the causing agent and their effect carbon monoxide it will match with what it will cause asphyxiation that means it will combine with the hemoglobin and it will cause the carboxy hemoglobin it will reduce the oxygen supply in our body coming carbon dioxide b carbon dioxide will be what it will match with the maximum contribution to the greenhouse effect where is not good for the environment and methane explosion in coal mines is causing the release for the methane gas that is ch4 these things simple things but you should note down this thing let's move to the next set of questions question number 12 the species found only in a particular geographical location is known as what they are known as endemic species it can be plant or animal i'll give an example nilgiri thal this nilgiri thal you can see in this picture in found only in the western ghat region in india so that is endemic to the western ghat region let's move to the next questions Question number thirteen: Which Indian state has named all its districts after its rivers? Yes, so here it will be Arunachal Pradesh. That is option C will be correct. Coming to the fourteenth question: Which ancient Indian scholar claimed that termite mounds were indicators of the groundwater? This was very very 
important findings in the research of water so it was given by whom it was given by varaha mihir so varaha mihir he gave many many indicators of the ground water and different things so thanks to him so he said that where there will be termite mounds we can get ground water because termite mounds will grow on ground water region let's move to the next question next question what are the natural source resources produced by earth simple question you should not get confused natural resources soil water and plants all are produced by earth so option c will be correct question number 16 the term life of a patent from the date of filing is what so patent ka lifetime kitna hota hai koi bhi product ka patent kare so the patent life is how much it is for 20 years option c will be correct not 5 years some of you are confused it will be 20 years from the date of filing any patent coming to the next question question number 17 the corporate social responsibility that is csr not csir csr has been made mandatory for the companies since which of the following years in india you have to think some of you will not be knowing so i'll tell you this is from april 1st 2014 that is 2014 it has been mandatory for the companies for the corporate social responsibility and i will tell you that whenever you are remembering any year you should connect with any other important years for example 2014 you can reconnect that it is also giving the namami gange program it was also started in 2014 so these things you can remember like this so that it will help in one shot to go so here question number 18 will move question 18 which of the following can be used for estimating values of environmental amenities question number 18 so think about this and here the correct option will be option d all these three things that means hedonic pricing travel cost contingent valuation all these three things are used for estimating the values of environmental amenities let's move to question 19 accreditation of environmental consultant organization in india is done by which of the following organization whether it is by moefcc or cpcb or ministry of earth science or quality council of india so what will be the answer the answer will be option d it is done by quality council of india yes accreditation of environmental consultant organization in india done by quality council of india so here accreditation means action or process of officially recognizing any environmental consultant organization officially recognizing coming to the question number 20 benchmarking in environmental management refers to what so read every options carefully then i will reveal the answer so here benchmarking means what it is the assessment of organizations business processes against the best in class operations to improve the performance that is benchmarking so it is against the best in class operations to improve the performance coming to next question 21 burning of biomass results into the formation of what this question also many of you were confused it will be option number d yes when we burn when we biomass it results in the release of oxides of nitrogen that is n2o which is what it is what n2o is nitrous oxide which is also called as laughing gas you should note down no nitric acid and nitrogen trioxide all these three things are released by the burning of biomass let's move to the next set of questions question 22 is a numerical i'm leaving it here because it is a rapid revision we are not going for the numerical i will do it in some other video but you should know the answer should be 1 by 7 of this question i am not reading the question it is related to anemometer and the velocity constant formula so going to the question 23 directly gaussian plume model is applicable in which kind of terrain or region gaussian plume model some of you are having many doubts in that it is a confusing thing but if you know it conceptually it is very very simple you should know the concept i'll make a separate video on this in future so next is it is option b that is correct that is even terrain when there is even terrain we can predict about the gaussian plume the rise of the plume the release of the gases but when the terrain is uneven we cannot go for the gaussian plume model and its application coming to question number 24 24 thermal inversion occurs when atmosphere is what when atmosphere is extremely stable or most stable the thermal inversion takes place and it is one of the very frequent asked question it can come in the numerical form which we have already done if you don't know 
you can ask me in the comment section coming to question number 25 the love canal tragedy was caused due to what so this tragedy was not a love kind of it was a very disaster kind of thing so this will be option a dumping of hazardous chemicals in the landfill which took where it took in us that is new york and it is one of the hazardous chemicals tragedy which is called as love canal tragedy caused by the dumping of hazardous chemicals in the landfill areas coming to the question 26 carbon credits which are also known as cc stands for what so one carbon credits means one ton of carbon dioxide and you should not get confused with one metric ton so one metric ton or one ton is equal so it will be one ton of carbon dioxide carbon credit coming to question number 27 rock quality design indicates what rqd it is also coming from the environmental geology so here what will be the answer answer will be option number c yes percentage recovery of unbroken solid core from a borehole is called as rock quality design i will simplify that so it is actually from the borehole if you are going for making a borehole where rqd denotes the percentage of intact rock intact rock means unbroken same thing retrieved from a borehole so when we are going for the borehole the percentage of intact rocks which we are recovering it is called as the rock quality designation not rock quality design it is rock quality designation coming to the question number 28 the stratified rocks are more likely to fail when other things being the same the dip is what so this is from the environmental geology you should only know that if you don't want to go inside deep inside the concept you should just know the answer answer will be what it will be option number a when when the dip is towards the free side of the valley or road cut it will be showing this feature that is the stratified rocks are more likely to fail or fall when other things being the same that is when the dip is towards the free side of the valley or on the road cuts free side coming to the question 29 due to el nino indian monsoon how it responds so el nino la nina very very frequent last question you should also know these things so because of the el nino what is that that is the cold phase so what happens is indian monsoon gets weaker sometimes but sometimes remains normal also so here option c will be correct coming to the question 30 question 30 is the albedo of earth is what so first of all you should know what is albedo albedo is the percentage of light reflecting from a surface is called as the albedo so albedo of earth means sunlight when it comes and it reaches the earth how much percentage of sunlight is reflected back it is 30 percentage so 30 percent is the albedo of earth and here comes to the end of our video i hope you have learned something new you have enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe the channel to get further updates see you guys in our next video till then keep smiling and believe in yourself